Semen retention is essential for the law of attraction. And in this video, I'm going to be going over what most people get wrong about the law of attraction and then the three step formula that you can use to implement the technique to actually use the law of attraction to create a life that you love rather than be at the effect of the law of attraction where you are unconsciously creating a life that is not in alignment with where you want to be okay now what most people get wrong about the law of attraction is that of thinking that all they have to do is visualize what they want right the common conception is that i'll sit in the corner i'll visualize the ferrari and then magically it will appear in front of me but the reality is that the law of attraction actually depends on the three aspects of your being, okay, on your personality, which is a combination of how you think, how you feel, and how you act, all right? As Dr. Joe Dispenza would say, your personality creates your personal reality. And if you are not consistently manifesting a reality that you love, it's because you are not being a consistent person. Your personality is not consistent and therefore re your reality is not consistently manifesting towards what you want. Okay, so the loop is that it starts with a thought, that thought leads to a choice, your choice leads to a decision, that decision leads to an experience, right? The end, end result of that experience is an emotion and then that emotion feeds back into the thought, right? So it's a loop going on right now. And if you don't think that the law of attraction works or that it's not real, just look around you. Look around at your life. It's a direct result of who you are, all right? And if you don't believe that, then you are basically descending down to the victim paradigm where you think that your life is the result of factors outside of you. And if that is the case, then you should probably just shut down this video. You should probably just go sit in a corner because there's nothing that you can do about changing your life. If you are stuck in the victim consciousness, if you're stuck in that lower level paradigm, then nothing else matters, bro. Like everything is out of your control. And like I said, you should just shut this video, right? So what most people get wrong is that they only think about the visualization part. And although that is important, this is where semen retention actually factors in, okay? As I've talked about before, Semen is the source of your sexual energy and your sexual energy is the same thing as your creative energy. And if you cannot think greater than how you feel, right? I was talking about the loop, how the, uh, the, how the emotion factors back into the thought. And so many times our behaviors are dictated by how we feel in the moment. It's like, I know that I'm supposed to be going to the gym, but I'm not going to because I don't feel like it. I know that I'm not supposed to be eating the sugar right now, but I feel like eating it and therefore I will eat it. All right. So when you cannot think greater than how you feel, when you cannot act greater than how you feel, then you will basically rationalize the behavior that is not in alignment with where you want to go. Okay. So of course it starts with the thought. It starts with the creativity of where you want to go, right? Without a destination in mind, without an end in mind, you will be the effect. You will be reacting to factors outside of you. You will be a ship without a sail. You will be a leaf blowing in the wind that has no direction. Okay. I talk to a lot of people who are getting into this personal development, creating their ideal life, law of attraction. It's like, I know exactly what I don't want, but that is what I give all my focus to. And I know that I don't want it but the law of attraction doesn't depend on what you want or what you don't want. It's about who you are and what you focus on. If you focus on only what you don't want, that is exactly what you get, regardless of whether you want it or not. Okay. So that's really the first step. If you have no energy left over because you're ejaculating all the time, you have no creative energy to even conceptualize an image of what it is that you want then just forget it because you will consistently be reacting to external circumstances. You will be reacting to subconscious programming that you are not even aware of in terms of creating a life that is not in alignment with your higher self. Okay. So that's why semen retention is really step number one to preserve that creative energy so that you actually have the resources to conceptualize that image of that you seek to create in your life what is the direction what is the end goal and where do you want to go in your life what is it that you want to create because if you are not clear on what it is that you want 
then you will just be consistently getting what it is that you don't want, which is what you have right now, which is the only thing that you can focus on, right? So step one is to really conceptualize that image, your ideal image of what it is that you want. And if you don't have the creative energy to do so, then it would be very difficult for you to actually form that image in your head. And then once you're clear on what it is that you want, most people who are into the law of attraction, they stop over there. But the next step is actually to act in alignment with that, right? I was talking about how so many times we know what we're supposed to do, but we don't do it. And the reason is because we don't feel like it. And then only later do we rationalize that decision with our logic. But that decision is made based on how you feel right now. Okay, that's most people. They dictate their destiny based on how they feel and how they feel is based on some external circumstance. So they're literally, again, trapped in that victim consciousness. So what I want you to do is, first of all, once you're clear on what it is that you want, let that vision dictate what you do right now rather than how you feel. OK, so let's say you want to manifest more money in your life. Right. And, you know, you're supposed to be calling out that client, you know, you're supposed to be creating that ad on Facebook, you know, you're supposed to be reaching more people, right? But you don't do it because you feel like a fear of rejection. You feel some resistance to doing the work. You feel like you won't be able to make this happen. You feel this doubt creeping in. It doesn't matter how you feel, but when you act anyway, when you take that decision to move in the direction that you have already discovered, that is the di direction that you seek to go you act in alignment with that regardless of how you feel then you have stepped on to the next stage of the manifestation process of actually acting in alignment with that vision that you have already conceptualized in your head okay and it is easier to act your way into a new way of thinking than it is to think your way into a new way of acting okay that's why visualization it's great but it's not the only thing we have to keep going on with the loop, right? Because when we take that action and we realize that it's all good, nothing else happened at the end of it, then we have the experience, which is the emotion, which is then factoring back into the thought. And then we can actually think greater than how we feel because our decision was driven based on our vision rather than our emotion. Okay. So that's really the loop it starts with how you think with where you want to go then it starts with the decision then it goes to the next step which is the decision that you take in the moment right and again if you're not practicing semen intention then you could maybe be visualizing what you want but you don't have the energy to actually follow through on what it is that you want right and then after you take the decision after you take the action and actually go out there and do something that is when you get the feedback in terms of whether you're moving in the right direction or not so it's very important to measure the feedback that you're getting in, or in terms of whether you're moving in the right direction or not, because you could be going through the motions thinking that you're moving in the right direction. But if you're not measuring what your behavior is, if you're not measuring the feedback that you're getting, then it'll be very difficult for you to optimize your behavior moving forward. Okay. It's like you're doing the same thing, expecting different results because you're not measuring what the result even is. You're not measuring what result you're getting back off the action that you're taking right now. Okay. So when you're getting that feedback, it's important to reflect on that feedback and then optimize your decision making as you proceed forward. So this is why semen retention is essential, because without it, you will not have the creative energy to form the vision of what you want. You will not have the energy to follow through on what it is that you want to do. OK, because a large part of why we don't do what we want, we know we should is because we give in to that immediate gratification to that instant spike of dopamine, which we get in the moment. It tastes sweet in the moment, but it tastes bitter in the long term. Right. And the opposite of that is when it tastes bitter in the moment, but it tastes sweet later on. That is when we can forego the current immediate pleasure for that long term gain. And that really is what separates the people that create the lives that they want, that create that consciously go ahead and take action towards their destiny, towards their desired destiny, rather than being a victim of subconscious programs that hold them back from creating a life that they love. Right. And semen retention factors into every step of this. But the hack really to shortcut this process is to go from thinking to experiencing to feeling the emotion. OK, this is where Dr. Joe Dispenza's work really shines out from the rest. Obviously, you have to take the actions. But if you can really visualize that clear image in your head, 
that allows you to experience the emotions with that vision in the moment, right here, right now, that is when you become a conscious creator because you're literally signaling the neurons in your brain to experience the emotion associated with a future state to the point where you are being that experience, okay? So it's really about understanding that reality is like a mirror that reflects your relationship to the world, okay? The thing is that when we are looking in a mirror, we change our direction, we change our behavior, and it reflects that feedback instantly. But reality, according to the philosophy of reality transurfing, is thick. It's like a resin, right? It's thick. So we have to consistently be doing the same thing again and again and again until it starts to bend in our favor, which means that we have to be disciplined. We have to consistently do the right thing again and again. And of course, don't forget to take note of the feedback, reflect on that feedback so that you can optimize your behavior and go ahead and do that thing until the structure of reality bends according to your will, okay? The law of attraction can easily be just called the law of pure willpower because if you are disciplined and you value the future vision that you have over the current immediate gratification that you can get, then you will be making the decisions that are in alignment with what you want in the future rather than what your body craves in the present, okay? Because anything that we do that is not in alignment with what we truly want, with what our higher calling is, with what we know is the right thing for us, but we still don't do it, it's because we've been hacked, okay? And the p most prominent hackers in our society right now, social media, food, pharmaceuticals, pornography, all of these instant gratification, TV, video games. When you play a video game longer than you know that you're supposed to, it's because you've been hacked. When you eat a food that you know you're not supposed to, even though you don't want to, but you still do it, it's because you've been hacked. When you watch porn, even though you don't want to, when you, even though you know that you don't want to, it's because you have been hacked, my friend. So you need this antivirus, which is basically forming that clear vision in your head, making it so clear that it dictates your day-to-day -day behaviors, making it so clear that you actually experience the emotions associated with that vision, that you just do the right thing as a natural expression of who you are so that you don't have to force yourself so much because you already are that vision. You are someone who is vibrating at that frequency and it will only be due time till that reality manifests for you, okay? So I'm sure you can see why semen retention is so important because it's the source of your creative energy. It's the source of your energy to go and take action consistently. And when you deprive yourself of this energy, then it will be impossible for you to consistently take that right action. It will be impossible for you to form that crystal clear image of what it is that you want and thereby you will be trapped in your current programming in the victim consciousness whereby you will succumb to the temptations of instant gratification that hold you back from creating the life that you were here to create, okay? So that is the three-step process, okay? Just to recap, get clear on what you want, consistently act in alignment with that vision rather than how you feel in the moment, and then reflect on the feedback that you get and optimize your behavior moving forward. If you just follow that three-step system, it's pretty simple. And it's something that I'm reminding of myself even as I shoot this video. And I understand that it is so much an ability to actually keep that vision top of mind that allows us to make the right decision right now. Okay, so many times it's not motivation that we're lacking, it's clarity on what it is that we want. And when we lack this clarity, we focus on what it is that we don't want and we continue manifesting more and more of it. But as we act greater than how we feel, as we think greater than how we feel, as we move towards the vision that we seek to bring into fruition, regardless of what the stimulus is coming in, then that is when we become the conscious creators of our destiny that consistently take the actions that move us towards where we want to go. And semen retention is basically the essential underlying principle that allows us to be creative, that allows us to have the energy to move in that direction. So if you got value from this video, click a bunch of the buttons below and leave a comment below letting me know how, law, law, how the law of attraction is currently turning out for you. Are you seeing consistent progress? Are you not? What do you think is holding you back? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. But with all that being said, this has been Mo and I'll see you in the next video.